How you get so much favor on your side? Accept the measure, Lord and Savior. All right, so continuing on with my study of Hebrews 11. Uh, we, last left, we last left off with Noah. So I finished the study of Noah. And the next person that's uh, mentioned in um, Hebrews is Abraham. So then I went back to Genesis, began reading his story, and just thought it, it was just so telling because... So, you know, God told Abram, at the time his name was Abram, to get up out your father's house. So him, Sarai, and Lot, his nephew, left for Canaan. There was a um, famine in the land, so then they went down to Egypt. Now, his wife was so beautiful that he told her to lie to Pharaoh and all those people um in order a lot of them say that he or that she was his sister instead of his wife because he figured that they would kill him right so what i took that to me was we go to these places we we go where god sends us and we either try to shrink to fit we lie to fit in we don't um, show up as our true authentic selves and in the process although he may have received cattle and all those things in the process like you you miss out on what is truly meant for you um, so that was the biggest thing that I um, got from going back and reading Abraham's story like it's like we all know the story but then when you go back and like dissect it through the lens of okay I was sent to Hebrews 11 um, to learn more about faith and him specifically uh, before I could even get truly get down to all of Abraham's story just off jump we find him not only shrinking the fit but not trusting that who you are will get you to where you want to be you know uh, not showing up as your true authentic self and especially if you're doing things like on behalf of God, like you, you can't, you have to do things right. You have to be, you have to have integrity every step of the way, every step of the way. Like there's no step in the build of a foundation of a thing. Like, like there's like nothing can be inauthentic and it truly, um, and it truly have God's, you know, breath <laughs> in the build of it. You know what I mean? Like if you're partnering with God in order for him to stay with you the whole way, you like you have to have integrity. Like God's not gonna bless BS. He's not gonna bless a lie. He's not gonna bless you showing up as half as who you are. Like be strong and courageous. Show up as who he's created you to be. And you'll be all right. So that's what I got from that part of Abraham's story so far. Just thought I'd share. Come again.